That's Megan Thee Stallion presenting at this weekend's Crunchyroll Anime Awards in Tokyo, which celebrates the art form of anime. Pop culture expert Carlos Bustamante was there and joins us now from Toronto, literally off the plane. I don't even know, Carlos, if you've slept. <laughs> he doesn't know what day it is, what time it is. Yeah. Carlos, it doesn't so good matter. To Jet lag doesn't <laughs> exist. Yeah. I know. All right, tell us, what was a highlight for you? You know what? Being in Tokyo is always a highlight, but I have to say, being on the other side of the world and catching up with Aman Volani was such a treat. We know her across the world as Miss Marvel. She's also our writer, and she told me uh, a bit of an update on Marvel and the kind of creative control she wants for her career. Take a look. I'm someone who can't just like be told where my mark is and speak my lines like I'm a puppet. Like I need to have some creative stakes in what I do and Miss Marvel was such a wonderful experience for that reason. The producers were literally just like giving me the liberty over Miss Marvel and letting me flourish in her shoes and listening to my ideas and respecting them and letting me try them out and I don't think I can go backwards now. So any next project whether it's All right, uh, Carlos, uh, who else was there? Uh, it was a star-studded affair, and what was so great was that I got to be on the carpet interviewing stars that are huge anime fans just like myself. Uh, Sotake was there from Japan. Yeji, the music producer, was oh, there. Sotake, look at that guy, what a great suit. Oh, Mercedes Vernado, pro wrestling superstar right there. There's Yeji. Uh, who else do we have here? Oh, Lisa, a J-pop superstar as well in her own right. And of course, there's Iman Vellani and Megan the Stallion representing her love for anime with a, a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure style outfit. Oh, super cool. All right, uh, Carlos, before we let you go, um, you got, some, got to spend some time as a tourist. What was your favorite Tokyo spot? Of course I did. You know what? This is the first time I went up there and actually had a chance to go see the uh, Shibuya Sky Deck. Shibuya Crossing is like that world famous intersection that is the most famous intersection in the world. And from the Sky Deck, you can see this massive view of Tokyo. But there's me in Shinjuku taking in the nightlife and uh, hanging out in Odaiba with Doraemon, who is like, imagine Mickey Mouse if he was a robotic cat from the future. So there you go. All right. Very cool. Carlos, thank you so much for sharing this with us. And uh, great to see you, my friend. Appreciate it. Great to see you, too, guys.